problem 25, again, we're looking at multiple statements and determining which are true, or, or which are equal to one half in this case. So we'll start with statement P, and we have absolute value of x over 2x if we know that x is negative. So all we have to do here is replace our absolute value. You know that if x is negative, we can replace absolute value of x with minus x. We can always do that as long as x is negative. So this is the same thing as negative x over 2x, which by canceling an x, we're left with negative 1 half, not positive 1 half. So p is not equal to 1 half. Let's look at statement q. So q says cosine of negative pi over 3. So the easiest way to think about this one is, is that cosine of a negative angle is always the same as cosine of the positive angle because cosine is even. So this is the same thing as just cosine of pi over 3. And cosine of pi over 3 is one of your standard unit circle measurements. Remember pi over 3 is 60 degrees and cosine of that is equal to 1 half. So Q is equal to 1 half. And finally, statement R. Statement R says ln of the square root of E. So remember that we can always write roots as ex uh, fractional powers. So this is the same thing as ln of E to the 1 half. And remember, using our logarithm rules, any powers can come to the front of the logarithm. So this is the same thing as 1 half ln E. And then since ln is the natural log or log with base of e, ln of e is just 1. So we get 1 half. So that tells us that our statement r is true as well. So we get that q and r are true, which is answer choice e.